TFNN Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman. Uh, this is uh, the, one of the hosts of TFNN, and it's my pleasure to be here to give the uh, Ever, Everbank update. This is the 10 a.m. update. And, uh, of course, always for more information on the products that they offer, go to uh, the front page of TFNN, tfnn.com. Uh, you can go to, what is it? It's everbank.com forward slash TFNN. Let's go to the numbers. The Dow has just broken out. It's at one, up 148 at 18,044. For my, for my work, remember, all week we've been looking at this resistance line at the 17,980 to 2,000. Uh, 18,000 level, we've broken to the upside. This is, in my work, leg B. It's very positive. It should go to a leg C and a D in the daily chart. The weekly chart is not going to make um, give us a very good confirmation of the upward move until it breaks out into the 18,168 area or higher, because that will be leg D in the Chapman Wave weekly chart. That's the middle chart here. But the monthly chart is improving, but the month has barely begun, so we don't really, we can't talk about it as if it's closed. But right now, this candle is really positive, and it says that the monthly chart of the Dow is still improving, and that's really good. Let's go to the S&P, the SBX. Start X right there. The S&P is at 2115, not 2116, up 18. This is broken out from the previous high, that downtrend line. But I really want to see 2121 because at that point, not only have you gone um, higher in the daily, but the weekly has started a leg D and it's broken strong resistance that goes way back to May of 2015. And the weekly and monthly chart here is also improving. So support for the Dow at this particular point is in the 18,820s and the S&P would be about 2,083, somewhere around that. That's going to be key support. Let's go to the QQQ series. That's the NASDAQ. Um, NDX 100 trading vehicle, nice move up, and we're looking at 109.58, up 96 cents. This really only builds strength when the QQQs start trading in the 111 area. So it's quite a bit of a way to go. Um, now, what's interesting is gold. Right now, gold is down six dollars at 13.55. I think gold is still cons consolidating from this fantastic gain that it's made. The weekly chart says there's a lot of resistance. The daily chart says watch out for a pullback early next week to test the 13.28, 13.14 level, and a breakout above the, the high of the six a few days ago above 13.78 would be very positive. I'm not sure it's going to do it right now. It just needs a bit of a break. Let's go to the TLT, which is bonds, holding very nicely, up five cents at 142.60. I thought that the bonds could pull back a little bit. The, the technicals are very strong. So it would only be a technical pullback. I still think the Japanization of our bond yields is, is continuing. That means that we're going down lower and lower in the yields. So watch that closely. Um, in the meantime, I want to look at crude oil. Crude oil was pulling back strongly. It's having a little bit of a bounce. I still think that crude oil is, has limited upside and even limited downside, but it is making lower highs and lower lows. And we're going to go to the VIX index, which I think is absolutely critical. The VIX is now in the 13.65 area. All week we've been looking at this, and I've been saying in the low 15s to the 14s, you will see buying pressure. As soon as it goes down below 14, you will see things like triple-digit gains in the Dow and the very strong gains in the S&P. So as long as the VIX volatility index remains in the 13s to the low 14s, buying pressure will be extant, and that's what we're looking at. Now, a couple of things that we need to look at right here is the DXY. That is the dollar index. It's holding us down 16 cents at 96.70. I think it's just in a trading range. It's the best of the currencies at this particular time, and it's holding well. I'm watching this monthly chart. I'll, this is very important because if the dollar next week can get to the 97.80s, that's very important. So this is the 10 a.m. update brought to you every day by Evergreen. For more information on the products they offer, call 855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com forward slash TFNN. Basil Chapman sitting in for Tom O'Brien. He'll be back Monday. Thank you for being here. Today, many commodities are trading at relative lows. 
And now you can take advantage with EverBank's new limited time, five-year market safe currency comeback CD. This indexed and U.S. dollar denominated CD offers 100% principal protection and is based on the equally rated performance of currencies of Australia, Canada, Chile, Mexico, and South Africa. These five countries are especially rich in commodities and the respective currencies are poised to do well should commodity prices begin to recover. Keep in mind that no APY, a periodic rate of interest, is paid on the CD. Don't miss out on this innovative new financial opportunity. CDs must be opened and funded by the upcoming July 14th deadline. To apply online and learn more about the CD, including product terms and disclosures, visit everbank.com forward slash TFNN now. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC.